Hi. Today is a big video. We have collaboration with Hippo Man, Keyboard Man, Andy Man, and Betty. Before we begin, here's a quick explanation of today's collab. We all bought the same keyboard from Amazon, the WK61. And we all have different budgets from $10 all the way to $60, which we randomized for each person using two wheels. And the main competition is to see who can upgrade the keyboard to make it sound and look the best. Of course, it's your boy, you know, Louis, the main man, the boy, the $100 keyboard showdown winner. I, of course, got the $60 budget to upgrade this keyboard, which is the highest budget that any of us could get. So hopefully, we should be able to maintain our title of winning the bigger collapse, so let's find out. But running with a $60 budget, I decided to make things a little more interesting, as you can tell from the title and thumbnail. I tried something new because I didn't want to be too boring and just do a simple upgrade. So let's go through what I bought with my $60. First up, keycaps. These were $20. Simple, very simple keycap set, Japanese sub legends as well. This keycap set should be able to match the keyboard pretty well because the colors kind of go together and I'm pretty sure half of the other people do not have the budget to buy keycaps. So, so we should be able to take the dub on how the keyboard looks, hopefully. So with $40 left, I had to make the keyboard sound as good as possible. This collab is somewhat different from the keyboard showdown because this time around we have to include loop, brushes, switch opener, everything we use has to be part of the budget. So I was thinking, why not not buy loop? So as we all know, buying switches is probably one of the best place you can ever do in upgrading your keyboard because in the hollow plastic case with cheap Gideon Ritz, it does sound a little hollow. So. We won't be keeping the Gideon Reds, instead we will be upgrading them. So for switches, I decided to go with some Echo Rose Reds. The total cost for them were about $19.98. If you want a more in-depth comparison of the Rose Reds versus the Gideon Reds, you can check out the video up there. I just recently did one, which is very convenient. So moving on with about $20 left in my pocket, I couldn't really decide what to get. Well, this is where the fun begins. I didn't buy loop because I would have to get a switch opener, a brush, loop, and there are probably more things, but I decided to not get any loop at all. Instead, I spent $8.48 on some foam, some band-aids, and some micro pore tape. And the remaining budget will be going into a penny mod. Spoiler, the penny mod was probably my biggest mistake of all, but we will see it when it happens. So let's get started with the keyboard, the WK61. It is a 60% keyboard that is hot swappable, supports 5-pin switches, uses plate mounted stabilizers, and has pudding keycaps with a translucent case, I would say. Plastic translucent case. It's okay. They even have add-on pudding keycaps so that you can go black and pink or black and red instead of going full black. But I think that's a pretty cool add-on in my opinion, but I won't be using them. So before we begin, here's how the keyboard sounds. A 5 second short typing test. So as you can tell, the keyboard sounds extremely hollow and sounds like a huge blob of plastic. So we're gonna start off by removing the keycaps. And yes, the switches that came with are Gatoron Reds. I will be swapping them out however, so we're gonna remove those as well. Alright, so now we are currently on stabilizers and you might be wondering, how am I going to make them sound good if I don't loop them at all? So, well, recently on stream, my chat showed me some dry hump mod on a stabilizer where you do not require any loop at all and you can make your stabilizer not sound rattly. And that is using some band-aids and some add-ons to go onto the wire. So instead of using the kits that they sell for the dry hump mod, I decided that I'm going to try my own thing and that is called a micro pore tape. So this material is basically like band-aids but a little thinner so that it's much easier to work with and it won't cause any mushiness when I am using it. So yeah, uh, that, uh, so this is what it roughly should look like dry humping your stabilizer whatsoever. I do not recommend it. It doesn't sound very good, but my mega brain was thinking that the competition is based on sound and when we send our typing test, it's mostly the alphas and the spacebar. So as long as I make the spacebar sound good, avoid pressing the backspace enter or left or right shift, we should be able to take the tournament without people knowing that our stabilizers sound like ass. So that's the mega brain move. Uh, I'm ho hoping that this will work out, but aside from that, we're gonna move on. Moving on to the case, we will be foam modding it, but before we foam mod it, I will be doing a penny mod. 
If you didn't know what a penny mod is, Flurples was the one who actually created it. You basically put a bunch of pennies or coins into the case to make it sound a little more dense and heavy, premium feeling keyboard, you know. So yeah, as for my coins, I'm using 5 cents, which is one of the basically close to a penny in Singapore. I really believe that this would work really well on the keyboard because the keyboard sounds so much hollow and plastic. It just doesn't sound very good. So I thought foam mod, penny mod, and we got ourselves a deal. But sadly, after I installed everything, I ran into a bunch of problems after using the penny mod. I couldn't get the spacebar seated correctly or the bottom row in general, it was warped because you can see how thick the pennies are at the bottom, causing them to not seat properly onto the case. And because of that, the spacebar sounded extremely rattly, not because of the stabilizer, but because of the pennies. So during that time, I actually spilled water as well, so I was going through one hell of a time. And I decided I'm going to remove the pennies and put some foam instead to replace the bottom row. So yeah, penny mod is about three quarter of the keyboard and one quarter is mostly foam mod. But yeah, after I tried to fix it to the best of my ability, it still didn't really work out. So I don't think I would recommend the penny mod or the dry hum mod to anybody, honestly. Buy loop, guys. Just buy the loop. But this is for content, so it's fine. I, I only think... I think I'm gonna win the best looking, but maybe not the best sounding anymore. So here's how the keyboard sounds. Okay, so I had $20 for the whole mod. I, some of you might know that just one thing of Crytox costs more than $20 at some vendors. So we had to get a little bit creative by che cheating. Um, cheat. <laughs> I bought a different keyboard. <laughs> now it's it's still the same keyboard. It's still like the, the PCB is the same, the case is the same, the keycaps are the same. It's just different it's prettier we've got pudding keycaps for the epic rgb gamer shine through and gateron red switches that you can't hear right now because of crisp noise suppression but i'm telling you they're just exquisite thok pure thok um there's a bit of a problem here in that as i mentioned i had nothing to lube them with so i bought a tube of super lube oil and two ziploc bags i put all of the stems and springs in those bags <laughs> Filled it with oil, just drenched it, because these this was pinier than somebody playing League of Legends from two. I don't know. I, did, I lost my metaphor there. And I I shook up everything, super oil lubed. It still sounds pretty bad. <laughs> the stabilizers. No, you're gonna win. You're gonna win. <laughs> the stabilizers were done with um, some Permatex and more super lube oil, of course. Press and seal wrapped the whole PCB. Of course, and take in an allergy filled carbon air filter, and that's our mod. I had no, no budget for keycaps, no budget for anything else. So there you go. Yes, everybody listen. So this is my keyboard. Same as everyone else, I did not cheat. have the foresight <clears throat> to fair cheat. So it looks like any old gamer board. This is the WK61, right? Yeah, WK61 from Warmier. What's my... <laughs> what? I see all the back there. So for my mods, I took apart the stabilizers. Couldn't replace them. Cut the legs. I also I bought a whole uh, setup from DivinityKey, the brush, 5G0, and switches. Get back to switches in a second. So I went ahead and modded the stabilizers. I taped down the PCB two layers. The tape isn't included in my budget because I said just go to a kindergarten class and steal their tape mm -hmm. from there. And I had the lube, but then I got lazy, so I didn't want to lube the switches. So instead of using the Gateron Reds, I used the rest of my budget and bought 50 j -Wicks from Divinity. Please enjoy my sound test of this uh, lazy $30 mod of the WK61. All right, is that... What's our next budget? It's me. Forty. Oh, I'm at forty dollars. I spent $40. almost all of it, so it did come with these other colored keycaps on it, and yeah. I was like, "Yeah, yeah, steal. Oh, let, let me use that and make it look unique." Of course, everyone else had the same keycaps, so I thought we would all look like this, but I guess we don't. So my main goal was to make the space bar sound good, because then I know I'm winning. You know, if your space bar sounds good, you you automatically win. 
So most of my money was spent trying to do spacebar stuff. I bought dielectric grease, spacebar foam from I think Divinity or KBD fans, a lube brush, flush cutters, and then my switch and key app puller. And uh, it, it sounds great. You know, listen to it. Oh wow. That's a pretty I mean. good, it's pretty good space bar. So I yeah. used electrical tape instead of blue tape because my chat was like, uh, you're not going to start another fire, are you? <laughs> and the keycaps, no, the keycaps are the same. The switches, I was like, I'm not lubing anything. Lubing is freaking expensive. So I bought Garon Milky Pro <laughs> Yellows three packs for $18 from Divinity Key. Oh. That was a steal. You can listen to, to the typing test, but... It sounds pretty dang good, you know. It's it's thock plus space bar. Thock. <laughs> Scott. Fifty dollars. So it's me now. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm a little nervous now because I have more money, uh, but I got some stiff competition now. And <laughs> but to be fair, I didn't spend all fifty. I think I spent thirty-eight dollars and fifty-seven cents. Same okay. So. This right here is, I call this the stealthy Bakaneko. And Ooh. the reason why I did that is because if you look inside it, you could actually see that this is gummy O-ring mounted. Oh, oh. So what I did, what I ended up doing was I took the whole thing apart and I realized that, you know, it's a, you know, fairly modest build. So I bought, I think it was like $5 from um, Canon Keys, a replacement Bakaneko 60 O-ring. So I kind of took a similar path uh, as Andy did. I did go to Divinity and picked up some J-Wigs because honest, my, mine came with Utemo Reds. No matter what I try to do with them, it just sounded so thin. So I'm like, you know what? This is not going to win the competition. I have $50. It's going to be a, a travesty if I lose with 50 bucks. I bought a $2.99 bag of polyfill, the smallest one I could actually find, shoved yeah. it in here because now with the O-ring, uh, the gummy O-ring mud, it has a nice bounce to it as well. So it has a nice feel and nice sound. Yeah, so I'm like, you know what? Can. I got to try to emphasize that. I went to the store. I picked up some Elmer's white glue. <laughs> so $1.50 for a bottle of glue and then a, just a crap ton of my time. I filled each individual keycap on the top with this white glue, trying to make a double shot keycap myself, which I think it helped a little bit, added some weight to it. So like the, the keys don't sound so like bad anymore. Yeah. He pulled out the classic oh, keyboard know. antics. I know. Okay, let's check out the sound test. Okay, so my WK61, I will start from the back, okay? Penny modded, but I forgot that you have to tape it down, so it just shakes like crazy. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I, I, changed, from it. I did a foam mod. I bought foam for like $5. Okay, so for stabilizers. For stabilizers, I decided to not use any loop. This keyboard, I upgraded without any loop at all. Without any loop, there's this mod that Stream showed me called the Dry Hump mod. You basically tape every single thing you can see on a stabilizer and make sure it sounds pretty decent. Aside from that, I mean, it is because hump. I knew that most of you guys do not have the budget for keycaps, I spent about $20 on keycaps for some good old clones, you know, cheapest <laughs> on sale. Um, JTK Sakura Knight. So I'm so, pretty sure I'm gonna win the, the best looking, but best sounding, I, I, I don't think I got it anymore. So yeah. All right, guys, here's what we do. We copyright strike him for the clones and now... <laughs> I forgot about it. My switches are the Echo Rose Raids. I got two boxes. Oh! Echo Rose Raids, nice. very nice. I moved them. Oh, nice. Hold on, let's pull up the sound pack. Yeah, let's hear it. You gotta this, it could be decide. anyone's game. It could. It really could be. The internet, it does weird things. You never, you know. never know. All right. Well, so we're going to compile everything, post it to Twitter. You guys will vote. Well, you've already voted. And then there's going to be a winner. Okay. And whoever that winner is gets to brag in their video. And then we'll show the results right here. It's okay. been about a week since we posted everything on Twitter about which keyboard sounds the best and looks the best. And the results are finally in. Okay, which one do you <laughs> want to do first? Looks the best or sounds the best? Let's start with sound. Because I feel like we know sound. Okay. Sounds the best is keyboard D. Oh, wow. Which wow. I'm pretty sure that is Scott's keyboard. Nice. I, I knew that. Congratulations. Oh, no. yeah. You science the heck out of all of us. Yay, Scott. 
Which one <laughs> looks the best? It's also mm. D. Wait, D is D is Wait. it someone else in this? It could be somebody else. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. D is Lewis's <sighs> keyboard. I mean, of course, look at these. Yeah, okay. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> look at it. Pudding. So, moral of the story is spend more money. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, money I don't like money. that moral. I don't. I don't like the moral. <laughs> Redo. I feel like the Let's moral is the science. Yeah, science. Honestly, the moral is science. Mm -hmm. All right, we have come to the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, we didn't win, but it's fine. There was not really a winner. We won best looks though, so not bad. Anyway, I will be giving away this keyboard. So here are the steps you'll need to join the giveaway for this keyboard. Step one, be subscribed to the channel. All you need to do is click on that red subscribe button. After the giveaway, maybe you can unsubscribe or up to you. But you need to be subscribed to join this giveaway. And after this outro, there'll be a 15 seconds typing test. You, you can look at the keyboard, but you don't know what switches they are. And that is your job. All you have to do is guess what switches I am using in that keyboard. Comment that down below in this video. So yeah, subscribe, guess the switch in the typing test, and that's all you need to do. Two simple steps. And this will last for about 30 days. So it will be until the 9th of May. 9th of May is the end, is the deadline of guessing switches. The first person who guesses will get the keyboard. Shipping completely covered by me, of course, and you get the pennies. I will loop the stabilizers for you, so do not worry about that. And yeah, uh, thank you so much for watching the video. Go check out everyone's POV of upgrading their WK61 with different budgets. Think, go look at their in-depth review of the keyboard whatsoever. And aside from that, like the video, uh, join the giveaway. I hope we guys, I, I will see you guys in the next one. Peace. Alright, hi, this is a very last minute message I decided to throw in. As you guys know, I recently got hacked by some crypto company. I am not part of it. I did not sell my channel. If you guys don't know what happened, check out Twitter. I updated Twitter a lot. And I just wanted to say thank you to everyone who helped me reach out to YouTube and by tagging them and whatsoever. But I am back. We are not under hacker man anymore. And I just wanted to say that next week's video might be a little delayed because I want to redo my whole computer. I want to make sure that there's no virus or like the hacker stuff still inside. So I'm going to wipe my whole PC and re-download everything. And after that, I'll probably do a video on the whole hacking process that I went through and how YouTube helped me and how you guys helped me and what tips I can give to other people who are going to go through this situation if it ever happens. So th thank you to all those who supported me throughout this whole thing. And I'll, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.